Hi, Pete here from Club Engineer. In this talk through, we're going to introduce the light sensor and the switch block. We're going to write a simple program that will cause the robot to say the word either light or dark, depending on the surface that's in front of the light sensor. So let's get started. First of all, the pieces we're going to need. We're going to want a sheet of white paper and a sheet of dark paper to use for testing the program. Of course we're going to need a next brick and as we discussed a light sensor, a next cable and a USB cable to connect the next brick to our computer. Now we're going to assemble the pieces, take the next cable, plug it into the light sensor, the light sensor plugged into the next brick. I'm going to use port 3. The USB cable plugged into the top of the next brick. Remembering that there's a curve on the top of the USB cable, it has to be located correctly. The other end of the USB cable plugged into the computer and the next brick turned on. We're going to load the Next G software by double clicking on the Next G icon. We're going to start by clicking the New Program icon at the top left hand side of the screen and a new tab loads. We're going to save the new program with a good name and I'm going to use the name, uh, let's see, Light and Dark and click the Save button. So we'll start by simply putting the text Light on the screen. So with the left mouse button, I click on the display block, hold the left button down and drag it onto the sequence beam. I then come down here and change the action from displaying an image to text. and I'm going to change the text that is displayed to the word light. While we're about it, let's uh, make it say the word light as well as display the text light on the screen. So I come back over to the component palette I click with the left mouse button on the sound block and drop that onto the sequence beam. And I come down to the list of files that can play. I click here. I type the letter L and it takes me straight to the sounds that begin with L. I'm going to scroll down till I find light and click on light. Good. Now I'm going to compile and upload the program, but first before I do, we'll have a quick look at this tool here that I have that will display what's going on on the next screen. So click the compile, download and run button. And run the program. Good. It says the word light and it displays the text light on the screen. Then the program stops executing. Note that the word light is only displayed for the period of time that it takes to say the word light. Alright, good. Now we're going to do the same thing with the word dark. So I'm going to grab a display block, change it from displaying an image to text, and say the word dark. And we'll do the same thing with the sound block. Drop a sound block on the sequence beam. Come down here, type D, it will say dark. Click the down, compile, download and run button. Grab our next viewer and run it a couple of times. Light, dark. So the name of the program is light and dark. Clicking on the button runs the program. Light, dark. Good. Okay, so our next task is to change the program so it uses the light sensor to determine what sort of surface is in front of the light sensor. 
Now to make that decision, we need to use what's called a switch block. And the switch block is down here on the component palette. So I left click on the switch block, drop that onto the sequence beam. Now a switch can be, or a switch or a decision, can be made based on a number of inputs. This one, when you drop it onto the sequence beam, it's set up to make a decision on the state of the touch sensor. We want to make a decision based on the state of the light sensor. So I come down here to the sensor drop down combo and change it from touch to light sensor. We check that it's connected to port three and it is. Our light sensor has been plugged into port three of the robot. The compare setting is set to light greater than 50. That means 50%. Uh, so the light that it's reading is scaled from 0 to 100. 0 being dark and 100 being light. Anything greater than 50 or halfway for our purpose will be regarded as light. Now as the program executes, the light sensor is going to check what's in front of it and if it's brighter than 50% it'll execute the code on this part of the sequence beam. And if it's darker than 50%, it will execute the code on this part of the sequence beam. So, if it sees a light surface, it will come up here. So just to remind us, come up here to the comment tool, and up here I'm going to type the word light. And down here, I'm going to type the word dark. I'm going to click back on the pointer tool to get it out of comment mode. Right, now here we have the display block that puts the word light on the screen. That can come in to this part of the switch block. Here we have the sound block that says the word light. Here we have the display block that says that puts the word dark on the screen. And here we have the sound block that says the word dark. Good. So we've changed our program. So when it executes, it will check the light sensor. If it sees a surface that's brighter than 50%, it'll execute this code. And if it sees a surface that's darker than 50%, it will execute this code. Let's compile, download, and run, and then grab our viewing tool. I'm going to hold the light sensor over a dark surface and press the run button. Good. I'm going to hold the light sensor over the white surface. Good, it's working well. That was interesting. I'm holding it over the light surface quite low and it says light and I'm gonna progressively raise it. Until there's a point where it's about three or four centimeters off the white surface where it starts detecting dark. Good. Program's doing exactly what we wanted it to, except for one thing. Every time we want to check the light sensor, I have to press the run button. That's a bit convenient. Let's get it testing the light sensor regularly. So to do that, I'm going to drop a loop block onto the sequence beam that will get the program looping continuously. I'm then going to move the switch block inside the loop block by clicking on it with the left mouse button and dropping it onto the sequence beam inside the loop block. We'll now compile, download and run. All right, it's looking at a dark surface and it's continuing to say dark. I'm going to move it over to a light surface. 
and it's saying light. Good. That's working well. You have a shot at implementing the light sensor, the switch block and the loop block. And when you're done, we'll come back and we'll start work on controlling the motor. Good luck with your implementation.